Hey everybody, today we're talking about the worst book I've ever read. 100% hands down, Janet Wintersun, wait. I could not read this book at all. I finished it, but it was just terrible. I had an awful experience reading. I never thought I'd have a bad experience reading a book, especially a book on Greek mythology. The whole reason I bought this book was because, for those of you who don't know, and I hope you don't, it's the retelling of the story of Atlas holding the world on top of his shoulders and how he gets to be there and what it's like for him to live that experience. Now I was thinking, cool, what a great idea for a book. I've never really known much about Atlas and I want to learn about him. So I decided to give it a shot and I was sorely disappointed. This book was absolutely terrible. One of the first things that threw me off was how little substance the book actually has. Not even, you know, metaphorically but physically like she writes it like if it's a bad poetry book like where it's just the pages have six sentences each one and she just kind of needed a way to fill up all the space so she you know crammed everything in and left all this open space and the font was like triple spaced and i felt like i was reading a kid's book i was like what kind of a book is this and not even to mention that you know in her writing it was lacking substance nothing was deep nothing was concrete when a character would do something there was no meaning behind it. There was no rhyme or reason why a, a character would start doing that. There was even a scene where somebody dies and I know this character from other Greek myths and I actually like this character, but when I read it here, I was like, oh, okay, so what? You know, what's gonna happen next? Like she just jumps from one thing to the next without building any actual rapport with every, every god and it was just bad. Another thing that I didn't like about this book was that she included two sex scenes or albeit, you know, masturbation scenes and I was like what am I reading what the hell is this why am I reading a book about Greek mythology and there's some dude masturbating in these pages like if I wanted to read one of those books I would go to the the shady bookstore where the and go to the aisle where it's a bunch of farmers with six-pack abs and it's called passion or lust or something like that where they're like 99 cents but like I wanted to read about Greek epics and heroes and gods doing good things and she included two two masturbation scenes and I was like I don't know if this lady's bored and, and tired and she wants some spice in her life and her husband doesn't touch her and she's just like desperate so she writes it on paper but it was just it was bad it was it was uncomfortable for me to read it to say the least and I get maybe she was trying to make the character seem like a, a overly sexual you know just lustful character but like there's many different ways you could have done that without ble being so blatantly obvious and that goes to show how bad the craftsmanship is in all these writings everything is just thrown at you and there's no subtlety in any of it and in all the bad ways so i just i couldn't i couldn't get past those two things as soon as those scenes came up i was like this is not what i want to see this is not what i want to read what the hell is this and then after that Another thing I, that this book really lacked in was just tying everything together. She then starts going off about the world's crustacean and the, the different time periods of rock formation and how they all hold memories and they're like pages of a book. And I was like, all right, I kind of see where she's getting with that. You know, being Atlas, who holds up the world and he has memories of everything going on around him. And he remembers the, the sheet rock forming just like he remembers pages in a book. But it's like, it wasn't really a good way of... of the way she delivered it, it just didn't feel natural. It didn't feel like it should have been that metaphor. It felt like she was forcing it onto you. It felt like she kept she kept telling you over and over and over again. And she kept repeating certain phrases, almost like if it was a poetry session. But the hell, I didn't want to read a poetry book. Like this, I wanted a, a, a retelling of a Greek myth. And then she goes on to talk about her nightlight when she was a kid, about how it was a world that spun and lit up the room and it made her feel safe. and. And then the, she was talking about herself, and this wasn't an autobiography. If I wanted to learn more about her, I would have bought an autobiography or watched a documentary on her. But I had no no intention of learning anything about this author, especially after the bad book that she just wrote. I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted to never read any of her books anymore. I was like, I don't want to know anything about this woman. She just wasted my time. Thankfully, I bought this book off a of thrift book, so it was $4, but... I kind of regret it. I kind of wish I had my $4 back. It would have been worth more to spend those four dollars on something else because this was not even worth that i was mad i was bored out of my mind and i don't recommend this book at all i recommend it to absolutely nobody it was just a waste it was a zero out of five stars so if you're even thinking about buying this book do me the favor and don't 
just get rid of it completely. Just don't even think about this book. Just know that it's bad. It has no con consistency. It has no real plot. It has no character development. It has no reason to even exist. But anyway, that's the worst book I've ever read. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys don't don't buy this book. Tell me if you guys, if any of you have read it, let me know what your thoughts on are it on it. If you guys like it, tell me why. I want to know. I'm, I'll I'll be genuinely curious to know why. But anyway, like, subscribe, share if you guys consider that. Um, take care.